What is up guys, Car Talk here, and today I'm here with another sleeve review video. So this year we are going to do a sleeve review video again, except uh, we're just going to be reviewing the stuff that I've been using this year. And then for any other future products that I find uh, really good or really bad, I'll do a separate review on those. So maybe we won't be doing any more uh, yearly reviews, unless you guys heavily request for it. So for this video, we'll be doing a review on sleeves that I've been using for a long time and I'm really confident in promoting, or not promoting, uh, advocating for I guess. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, but yeah, since a lot of people are asking for me to review card sleeves and just asking me what sleeves, uh, what over sleeves I'm using for my decks, uh, this is the sleeve review for 2024. So we'll be splitting this video into two sections. One section is for the small sleeves or the mini size. And the second part is with the standard size. So you guys can kind of skip to whichever one is relevant to you. They are different. Uh, there are different choices and opinions for different sizes because some sizes are just better in a smaller sleeve, whereas some brands do better big sleeves. So yeah, let's get right into the review. So this is the first part. So these are decks I'm currently using for each of the brands. They're uh, aligned according to what they're used for. So for example, this Luke Gear deck, uh, is using the uh, Z Super Hard Junior, uh, ZL Super Hard Juniors. And these ones are the regular over Super Hard Juniors. And then this, these are the RSS sleeves. And this is we're using the KMC Mini Character Sleeve Guard. And this one is using the Broccoli uh, Half Matte Half Clear Sleeves for the Fennel deck. So. First off, let's just go over the kind of the newest one in this group. So the ZL Juniors came out, I think, around half a year ago. They are basically the ZLs, except a lot thinner. Here, I guess you can't really see that camera, but yeah, you, can see, you can see it better like this. So it's around like, not 70%, it's 70% of what the irregular sizes are. And you can kind of see it's sleeved. So, let me just bring these two decks here. So, these are the juniors, and these are the regular ones. So, putting them side by side. Oh, I think it's Let's see. They are, it's quite noticeably thinner. I'm trying to, it is uh, right now, they are side by side. So you can, it's like a few cm thinner. But they're all, they're both super hard, as the brand name suggests. They are very hard. Very, they, they will still give you paper cuts, like the, the juniors will still give you, I'm sorry, the ZLs will still give you uh, paper cuts. But they still feel really good, very, Sturdy, uh, just a little bit thinner. I think in my hand, I think the the, reg the regular standard ones just still feel nicer. It feels like you're holding a brick. So if you're, if you're mad at your opponent, you can just chuck it at your opponent and it's, it's gonna do some damage. This one, it still feels uh, nice, but it does feel like the cards between your fingers do feel uh, thinner. So yeah, and since they only came out for like, half a year. Uh, I haven't been using them for too long. I've been using... This deck is new, newly sleeved. Uh, I do have some other decks that are older. Um, that are, they're, they're still really durable. I haven't had any ripped on me yet. The regular Zs, I never had any of them ripped on me ever. And I've been using these for like four or five years now, at least and I never had a single sleeve rip on me. So if you're shuffling these, just shuffle them carefully, like on, on with the sharp, ed uh, the sealed edge, just cut it in like that. Do not cut it in using the open edges. Some people like to shuffle like that. That is the easiest way to crack open your sleeves because they are vulnerable from the, the uh, entry points. So some people's sleeves uh, split like that. But if you uh, shuffle it from the sealed end down like that uh, you 
probably won't have any problems. I haven't had any problems. So, these only come with 50. So if you're playing a 50 card deck, that's fine. Uh, but you won't have any replacements. So, it's fine if you, you know, if you're like me and you never had any crack on you, or rip on you, tear on you, then 50 is fine. If you're playing Pokemon though, you're kind of crap out of luck because your decks are 60. So you won't be able to use it. I don't think these are perfectly cut. Like, the, the, it's not going to be identical for every pack. So there's a chance when you sleeve two different, use two different packs of Z's to sleeve your deck. Um, the pattern on the side here might look different. Because, like, for example, if you have this, you can kind of see some of the colors different in the this actual sleeve itself. Uh, it's probably a bad example to use it for the other side, but uh, you'll, you'll know what I mean when you sleeve it, sleeve the deck. If you sleeve it all um, with one deck and have it all sleeved in for the same, same side, like when you open the pack, you just leave them in single file one by one, they will end up perfectly aligned like this. It'll look very uniform. If, for example, if you have a card that is not you, you'll be able to see that this card is not sleeved in the same direction as the other uh, other sleeves. So yeah, these are my my opinions on the Z sleeves. They're really really good, very very durable. Haven't had them crack on me. Uh, probably the most durable sleeves on the market, and they are just a lot better than the Bushiro Super Hards. I tried the Bushiro Super Hards. I used them for a couple of days and then they I've had like one or two uh, split on me and they're just not really good to use. But the Z's are very reliable. I have not had a problem with these and that's why I recommend these ones if you're really into thick card sleeves. Thick and hard card sleeves. Z's are for you. If you, like, if you want it to be thinner, you can try the ZL's. They're also really nice. But you can't go, off, go wrong with the, the Z's. And the brand is uh, Yanoma Yanoman, so keep that in mind if you guys are trying to get these. The price kind of varies depending on where you get them, but they're relatively cheap, and one pack is enough to sleeve one deck for you, so yeah. All right, next is the cheapest uh, sleeves on in this, uh, in this, oh, where are they? the cheapest sleeves out of the bunch. These are the RSS. So I've been an advocate for these sleeves for a long time as well. So if you're planning to sleeve decks that you're not really going to use as much as some of the other ones, uh, but you still want like a really good durable brand, RSS is the one for you. These are by far the cheapest. I think one pack of one pack of Z's can get you around three to four packs of RSS. So these are just the best value for your money. The problem with them are they are a little bit softer than the than the uh, Z's. So sometimes when you are un you're not careful and you, you jam your finger on there, uh, instead of hurting your finger with the which you might do with the Z's, you might bend the corner instead, and then you'll you see a crease mark there, and then it'll just look really bad. And if you're in a tournament, they might say you're marking the sleeves. So. That's not that's not great, but if you're doing it for casual play, it's perfectly fine. These are really really good for the price and just what they are. And if you're careful with them and you don't like randomly move your finger, fidget your finger, and just jam your finger, it'll look fine. Like for just for example, I've been using this deck for a, a while as well, and they look they look they look pretty pristine. I think there might be one card that has like my my jammy jammy fingerprints, <laughs> but uh, usually. What I do, if you're playing Vanguard, uh, I just take that sleeve out and put it in my ride deck instead and swap in uh, a clean sleeve. And for the most part, these sleeves are perfectly cut from what I've known. So if you interchange them with a different pack, they are uh, pretty, pretty they, they blend in pretty well with it, with the old pack. So yeah, RSS, Definitely the cheapest and the most affordable out of the recommendations for today. And these are just like regular clear sleeves. Uh, same with the same with the 
Yama, uh, Yanomans. These are all just plain clear over sleeves. They look very clean. They don't have any patterns on them. They're not matte or anything. They're just regular sleeves. <laughs> they're, just, they're just clear sleeves. So yeah. Next is a brand that so just, just again, if you guys are looking for how the package looks like, this is the RSS and it just has card sleeves on them. The brand is RSS. I think they're a Taiwanese brand. Um, I honestly, I think you can get these in Aqua Cat, but I don't, I'm not really sure where else you can get them uh, overseas because I, I buy them um, from China, but they don't really sell overseas. So I don't, I don't really know where you guys can get them. Um, yeah, but these are these are really good. You can try visiting their website to see if you can get them, but I don't I don't think so. So yeah, RSS, cheapest, most affordable, also very durable. I've had them slip uh, split on me rarely on rare occasions, but it's not too too bad. And since they're so cheap, you can just just, just swap them, so it's fine. But yeah, definitely the the best for your bang for your buck. Uh, I, I recommend these sleeves for decks that you don't play with as much. Like you're, you're not planning to grind grind a tournament circuit with it. Uh, if you're planning to play a tournament circuit with it, probably use the RSS. Uh, sorry, not probably use the Z's. But if you're doing it for casual play, you're using it for a deck that you don't really care for as much. Uh, RSS is definitely the brand to go to. All right, next, KMC. So KMC is a brand that I've been using for a long time as well. I've been using them less now just because I don't use the character sleeve guard for the standard size anymore. But I do like the standard, uh, sorry, sorry I, like, I do like the mini character sleeve guards. I think the packaging might have changed. I bought this quite a while ago and I can't find uh, the packaging for new ones, but it is KMC. So KMC mini character sleeve guard. And they are different from the other ones we are talking about because these, have a pattern on them. So they have a little uh, border around it. I think if you're playing in a tournament, you have to use the border side on the back. And some some tournaments, like official big tournaments, don't let you use oversleeves in general or oversleeves with patterns. So you gotta check with your uh, tournament organizer to, to get that sorted out. But these ones are really nice. They are a bit of a softer plastic. Uh, they feel a bit more rubbery than the other ones. And they shuffle well as well, but they, these ones stick easier. So if you put it in a deck box that is very cramped, these will stick together sometimes, which might be a little bit of a problem. Some people like it, some people like it a little bit stickier versus, you know, drier. Um, it's not like, if you have sweaty hands, it might be a problem, but I have pretty dry hands, so it doesn't really stick that much. And as you can see, it just shuffles pretty well. So this is for people who like to have a little bit of a border on their sleeves. I guess using them on a on white sleeves don't really look that great, but I think I think it looks pretty cool. And the fitting is pretty good as well. And yeah, it uh, after you compress the deck, they are around the same thickness as the as the uh, RSS ones. But the good thing about these ones is it comes with 60 sleeves. So these ones are a little bit cheaper than the uh, Z's, I believe. They're like a couple, couple, maybe like 100 yen or 200 yen cheaper than the Z ones. But they come with 10 uh, extra sleeves, so you can use them as backup if they do split. Uh, again, I've rarely had these split on me. I have had like a couple split on me. So I guess the the extra sleeves are there for that. Uh, but if you're unkillable, like these Z ones, you don't need backups. So these ones are kind of here just in case you like to use sleeves with a little bit of design. And before moving on to the standard sleeves, we are also gonna be talking about the broccoli matte and clear sleeves. So these ones are Really up to personal preference. I quite like matte sleeves, and whenever I use matte sleeves, I will choose to use the broccoli ones. I think they're the most uh, reliable, and I just think, you know, for the value they give you, or the money you give, they give you 
quite a decent value. And they also give you quite a lot of sleeves. So these ones are definitely the most expensive out of the ones here right now. These are, uh, I think these are like 800 yen a pack or something. I'll, I'll put the official prices up uh, somewhere in on the screen so you guys can kind of use the uh, I'll probably find like a price. I'll probably find like a price from an official official Amazon page or something or like a Japanese um, Amiyami and you guys can kind of compare the prices there uh, except for RSS because you can't get those on Amiyami but everything else I, you probably can um, or Art Black Cat. I think Art Black Cat will have a lot of these uh, as well so yeah, uh, let's see. So, broccoli sleeves, they come with 80. So, by far, they offer you the most sleeves. But 80 is kind of a weird number. If you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, you can sleeve two decks with these, but you won't have backups. If you're playing Vanguard, you'll have 30 backup. So, you can kind of use those 30 sleeves as ride deck sleeves, which is what I'm doing, actually. So, it's pretty good value. You can kind of save, like, five for back up and then use the rest for ride deck sleeves which is what I'm doing right now but these ones I think they shuffle the best they shuffle the best in my opinion um, if you're a, you have stickier hands like you have sweatier hands they might stick a little bit but it feels the best to shuffle and this is up to personal preference but some people like the matte uh, a matte finish on their sleeves more than a gloss one so it's really up to you I think matte looks really really nice I wish there was a matte super hard that was good um, I thought Yaman, y Yanoman had some but I couldn't find them at my locals Bushiroad has them but don't use them they split all the time uh, not bashing Bushi or anything, but their oversleeves just aren't that great. But you know, I'm using the minis for. <laughs> as you can see here, these are all Bushi Road mini uh, character sleeves, so they're good for something. Their designs for their regular sleeves are good. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> oversleeves, I think the matte ones, I think the broccoli ones are definitely the best. You can try. I have actually used the clear, clear ones i think the yellow ones i do not recommend them if you're buying broccoli ones buy either matte matte or matte clear and they're both good i haven't used any matte mats on small size yet i have used matte matte on large size and those are pretty good but for me i think for small size i quite like the matte and clear so uh, i have you have they have my endorsement for the matte and clear for the small size so yeah Make sure if you're buying Vanguard, buy small for broccoli. Uh, 51 times 91 for Vanguard. I think they have a different size for Yu-Gi-Oh because the Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves are a little bit, a little bit bigger. They're a little bit uh, chunkier in the top. And obviously for the KMCs, buy the mini character sleeves. And for the Yanomans, buy the Z or ZL Juniors. So this is it for the small section, or the Japanese size, card size of the section. These are all my recommendations, I really recommend them, they are really really good. And yeah, let's stay tuned for the standard size section. Alright, so here are the standard size sleeves, so my desk is a little bit too small, so bear with me here. Uh, we'll be showing you guys the actual sleeves whenever we talk about them. So first off, let's talk about the... Z sleeves, the super hard Z. So these are the standard size ones. They are in red. Do not buy the blue ones. Or sorry, do not buy the green ones if you are trying to buy standard size because they will not fit. Red ones are for standard size. You're playing Digimon, Pokemon, Wash Warts. These are the colors that you need. So these ones are just, uh, the ZLs are just the, the newer, thinner kind. So similar to that for the green ones, like the one we just talked about. Uh, ZLs are thinner, they aren't uh, as bulky and they don't feel as bricky as the regular Zs. Personally, I prefer, I prefer holding on to the Zs, they just feel a bit more 
durable and feels more like a brick in my hand. And they, they feel thicker, which I like. So if, I, if I'm buying sleeves, if I need to buy thick sleeves, I'm just gonna go with the Z's. But if you want to have really thick sleeves, but also not as thick, like a little bit thinner, uh, just because maybe your deck box can't fit it, or you prefer to have just a little thinner, but just have the same amount of protection, then ZLs are the ones to go for. But personally, I do like the Z's a little bit more than the ZLs. And for a standard size deck, they, they don't feel that much different. It definitely feels a little bit thicker for the mini size for some reason. So yeah, uh, those are the Z's. They only come with 50, so you don't have backup, but I've never had these crack on me. Um, so that's not too big a problem. I did recently have some something fill in my deck box and it ended up like this. So I don't have a replacement for that. So I need to get a new pack to replace these, which is a bit unfortunate, but I can use the rest of the sleeves as Digitama uh, sleeves now. So that's fine. But yeah, so just, they, they are not, they won't split, but if you get gunk on them or if you like spill something, I don't, I'm not really sure what happened. It just uh, happened like this, but uh, sleeve integrity wise, it's still fine. It protected my cards, which is what it's supposed to do. But yeah, I'm sure if it, if it was a different brand, it probably would have ended up the same. But if you're working, worried about sleeve splitting, the Z's uh, probably won't split. Again, if you're shuffling, just shuffle from the seal side to the seal side, and they'll shuffle really nicely. Do not shuffle like this, or I don't know, some people like to do like that. If you put the open ends together, that would definitely increase your chances of splitting your sleeves exponentially. So just seal the seal side to seal side, just cut it in like this and you'll be able to shuffle really nicely and they won't break on you. I've been using, for example, the Garou Monsters I have here. I've been using the same pack since the launch of the Digimon card game. So it's been around like I think four years now and I'm still using the same, some same sleeves. So they're very durable. Every time there's a new update for Garoumon, I'm using these sleeves, so. They might have a little bit of scuff marks on them, so if you're planning to go to a tournament, definitely swap in for a new pack. But if you're not planning to go into a tournament with them, uh, you are probably good to go. Same with my Greymon deck. That deck has also been using the same Z sleeves for for forever. So that uh, they're just really durable. Really good brand. If you like thick and very safe sleeves, use uh, Zs. But you will probably get paper cuts. These, uh, if you open a fresh pack of these and you sleep them in your deck and you shuffle, you're probably gonna cut your hand. They're very, very sharp. Very, very, uh, yeah, very, very sharp. So just, just be careful. Uh, but yeah, they're good. 50, 50 sleeves, and the price is pretty much uh, compared to the rest of them. These are the mid-range ones, so not too expensive, not too cheap. Uh, but they're they're good. Whenever I'm not using RSS, I'm using sleeves, or uh, using Z's if I am if I want some clear sleeves. So yeah, there's that. So since last year, a lot of people have been recommending me the Dragon, uh, Dragon Shield Clear Outers. And these are the, uh, one, they come with 100 matte outer sleeves. I'm not really sure these are matte though. In Japan, we would probably call this emboss. Cause when I'm thinking of matte, I'm thinking more like a flat matte. This one has like a little bumpy texture on it. It's up to personal preference. Some people like it, some people don't. I, I actually quite like these sleeves. These are actually pretty funny. These are pretty good to use. Uh, they're very different from other over sleeves I've used. They shuffle nicely and they have a nice texture to them because it does have that uh, more embossed bumpy feel. So these are really nice. They feel a, a lot more rubbery than um, the other sleeves I've been using. So I think durability-wise, they're also gonna be pretty durable. Um, but since they are a little bit rubbery, when you're inserting the sleeves, they also kind of uh, stick a little bit when you either pull it out. Uh, it's, it's a little bit better now because I have used them 
for a while. But yeah, it something like this. It will take a little bit more time to sleeve them than the red ones, but that's not really a point, uh, a, a negative point because it doesn't really have anything to do with the actual performance of the sleeves. So these are really good. Uh, I think out of the bunch, these are the most expensive. But please keep in mind, you get 100 of these. So pretty much two packs of disease will buy you one box of Dragon Shield. So they pretty much average out. And these are pretty durable. I haven't had them uh, tear on me. Uh, my little concern for them is they, they have a little bit of more extra room in the bottom. So sometimes if you are not careful and you kind of like snag this on something, it will have make a crease mark. I think I have a crease mark on one of one of my one of them. Right, there you go, right there. That's like snagged from something, and I haven't had this problem with the Z ones. So just be careful when using these. These have a little bit of a too much, too much on the bottom. But these are very nice. They're really good quality. I'll probably buy more of these later. Uh, if I like to use more rubbery sleeves, I'll probably use these in the future. But they are definitely not as thick as the Z ones by a little bit. They're they're still pretty thick. They aren't as thick. And you know, if you if you like the more bumpy texture. Um, and the, the gloss, I guess, the, the matte. Uh, this is the brand for you. I think this, these are also more accessible for people living in the States and Europe because it, it is Dragon Shield, which is a pretty big brand. So I think you'll have an easier time to get those there. And these are, these are good, but some people don't like the, don't like the, the matte. And in that case, I would just recommend getting the Z's. Of the RSS, but these ones are really good. They're expensive, but they're good, and they come with a hundred, so it's enough to sleeve two decks. You won't have enough for spares, but that's okay. Actually, when I opened mine, my box, it came with a few extra, uh, extra sleeves, I think. But one of them came like this, which is not good. Like this came, it came like this out of the box. So good thing it came with a, a few extras. I'm not sure if it, uh, it it comes with a few extras for every box, but it, it comes with exactly 100, and one of them ends like this. You're, you're gonna feel pretty bad. So I'm not sure. People people who buy a lot more of these uh, Dragon Shield ones can let me know, because uh, I've also I do use uh, the Dragon Shields for Marvel Champions, and I've been buying a lot of the matte sleeves and the dual matte sleeves. And sometimes they also come in, they also come whenever I open a box. There's also like one or two sleeves that end up uh, crumpled like that. So it's a bit sad. I think it's when they, they seal it from the factory. They just seal this and then it just the sleeves get snagged. And that's how the crumpling occurs. But they're, they're good. I, th I, I think the Dragon Shields are also really good and thank you for the recommendation from whoever recommended recommended it last year. So these are they're they're good. They're good. I wouldn't say they excel in something in particular compared to these ones, but I think they're a good alternative option for just reliable sleeves in general. We'll go over like the general my general opinion on the sleeves at the end. Alright, next let's go over the broccoli one. So I have brought oh wait, this is the matte and clear. So this is the matte and clear. I used it for my Magmon deck. And I've been using these sleeves for a long time as well, ever since uh, I think I used this originally in Old Force. So this was since BT2, and they're still hanging in there, so they're doing pretty well. And they shuffle really well. A little bit, they sometimes they stick a little bit, but that's fine for the most part. Uh, I think it is, it is fine for the most part, and they're thin, so they're a little bit thinner than its competitors. But I think that's uh, 
an upside for you guys. So for some people, if they are using a little bit of thinner deck box, then they want thinner th sleeves. Then the broccoli ones are kind of the go-to. I never use broccoli for their clear sleeves because I don't think their clear sleeves are that great. But their matte sleeves and matte and clear sleeves are pretty good. Same with the full matte ones. I think I haven't, I haven't used a full matte uh, sleeve from Broccoli in a long time because I didn't really like the way they made their old ones. Uh, their old full matte sleeves are a little bit more hard. They're using a little bit of a softer material now and uh, so I'm using my Musketeer deck with the full matte ones just to try it out. And I really like it now. They, they're using the same material for the matte and clear ones now. So the matte side is the same matte side as this one so they feel really nice really nice to shuffle and yeah if you like a full if you like full matte sleeves definitely try these out however later on i am going to be trying the where did I put it? i'll be trying these ones and these ones feel a little bit thinner than that one so i'll let you guys know later as well but for the most part for now uh Broccoli is the king of standard matte type sleeves. So these ones, from to me, in my opinion, these are like true matte sleeves because they don't, they're not, they don't have texture on them, uh, and they're just matte. But I, I guess that's to be debated. Some people would consider this true matte as well. But since there is a little bit of a bumpy texture on it, I consider this as embossed. All right, now let's move on to the last one. So these are the RSS ones. These are, <laughs> again, the most value for your money. They are, they are so good. So pretty much for a box of, for a box of Dragon Shields, you can buy five to six packs of these RSS ones. So that's super value. They are the thinnest out of the bunch. So they're even a little bit thinner than the uh, broccoli ones, but they're still durable. I have had these crack on me or split on me once or twice, as mentioned before, but it doesn't happen often. So for the value of the money you're paying, I think the quality is pretty good. So again, if you're using decks that aren't as, you don't use as much, or you don't care as much about or you are just looking for a cheap price to sleeve a lot of decks. So for, for example, me, I have, you guys know me, I have a lot of decks. So RSS is the brand I normally go to because there's, there's just so many decks I, I need to sleeve. But if I like to, if there's a deck I really like, I want to spur, splurge a little bit more on, I'll use these ones. But for the most part, I will be using the RSS on the majority of my decks because even though they're cheap, they're still really good. Like I'm using them from Shine Grey Mon. No disrespect to Shine Grey Mon, but I think uh, using RSS is fine. They're just really good. So overall, let's move on to conclusion. I've been talking for like half a, half an hour about sleeves. So that's why I don't really want to do like uh, compilation videos for every year because when I find more new brands, I'm probably, it's probably gonna get added. For for this year, I'm only use I'm only talk, going to be talking about the the brands that I am still using, which is these ones right now. So later on, I'll be re reviewing brands whenever I pick up a new uh, pack. So the hardest sleeves and the most durable ones definitely still go to Z. These ones just they're just the most reliable, and they are thickest, and they are. They're tanks, so if you're you're really rough with your cards, and you really want to protect them. Z are the ones to go to. If you like a little bit of a uh, matte, matte, and you like the rubbery texture, I think the Dragon Shields are the ones to go to. They're also a little bit more easy to access, I think, if you are living in Western countries. So that's also a selling point. Uh, downside is the little s extra sleeving sleevage there. I think it's a little bit too much. I can cut it down by a little, little bit, and I think it'll be perfect. But I think these are pretty good as well. 
So I don't think they particularly excel in anything, but I think they're, they're they're pretty good. They shuffle well, and I guess if I would give them a win in anything, it'll probably be the shuffle. They they feel really good to shuffle. The emboss really helps um, the cards glide easier. And they just really feel really, really good, really good to shuffle. I guess I'll get a point there. And for the rockly ones, you want thinner sleeves, and you want you still want the matte, um, the matte ones. Broccoli are the ones to go to. If you want full matte, you know, bro broccoli's are definitely the one to go to. Because some people like the the matte on the front as well, and broccoli can provide you with that. And they shuffle really well as well. So, yeah. Count size is a little bit weird though, but I guess these are good for people who are buying Pokemon decks or building Pokemon decks because you'll, you'll have 20 spare sleeves. I think these are good for Magic. No, Magic uses 100 for Commander, I think. Um, I don't know. You have a lot of spare sleeves if you are using these for Digimon. You have 30, you can use it to sleeve your Digitama decks, which I do sometimes, which is pretty nice as well. And last but not least, of course, RSS, if you want to have cheap sleeves, affordable sleeves, if you have a lot of decks, RSS is definitely the brand to go to. But yeah, I, I think over, over the past few years, I, I haven't really changed too much in the brands I'm using. Uh, I guess this year's new edition is the Dragon Shields. Everything else is pretty much what I used last year as well. Uh, maybe next next time we'll be talking about the King's Elders. I've been using this the small size for this one uh, for a little bit and they do feel nice. These feel like the thinnest though. So I'm not sure if I use them for another like two months if they'll start breaking on me. That's why I'm not doing a review on them yet. But I'll let you guys know. Or if you guys are using these already, let me know what you guys think. But that's pretty much it for this sleeve review video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you see any comments down below, like or, or on my videos, you can just link them to this video because I have a lot of people asking me about what sleeves I use. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll help a lot if you guys just link them to this video or my older sleeve review videos if you can. But yeah, this is Card Haku. And if you guys want to support the channel, use the affiliate links down below. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.